when life gives you avocados make a guacamole and then what do you do with the guacamole make some tacos with guacamole hello everyone this is chetna from get my harvest in my previous video i showed you how to grow an avocado plant from an avocado seed in case you have missed that video first subscribe to my channel then click on the bell icon so that you don't miss the future videos and the link for that video will be shared in the description of this one my heart goes out to all you busy people who have to multitask and sometimes preparing meals can get really tricky because there isn't enough time but this meal is going to be an easy 5 minute meal that all of you can prepare Let's make these healthy tacos with guacamole and the hero of this dish are the avocados. Let's dive in. When you dance, do you dance like there is no one there? When you sing, do you sing it out like you don't care? Don't you know that you don't have to be anything but what you are love what you are just be yourself be your own kind of beautiful just be yourself be your own kind of beautiful I diced some potatoes, roughly two medium-sized potatoes, finely chopped, almost half of a bell pepper, green bell pepper if you have the red one, that's also fine. Finely chopped some onions, finely chopped one clove of garlic, finely chopped coriander, and then I roughly chopped um, some of the red and the green uh, lettuce that I harvested from my vegetable patch. Heat some oil in a pan, roughly a tablespoon of oil, any oil uh, that is available in your region. Once the oil is heated, add the potato wedges, the diced potatoes that we had uh, diced earlier. While the diced potatoes are getting cooked, and you'll start getting a little browning on them. Let's uh, begin with our guacamole, and these will keep cooking uh, on the side. In case you're wondering why this avocado hasn't turned uh, brown and black, that's because uh, I had uh, squeezed juice of lemon on it. So if you if you want to prevent your avocados from turning black or brown, just use lemon juice on them. and that acts as a barrier now just scoop off the beautiful avocado see it's coming off just like that and put that in a bowl make sure you're using an avocado that's ripe in case you end up buying avocados which are not ripe just wrap them in a newspaper and um keep them somewhere where it's a little bit warm and they'll ripen up in a day or two just mash the avocados like this to the mashed avocados add the finely chopped uh, bell pepper finely chopped onion and finely chopped coriander and then give it all a mix squeeze the juice of one lemon this will not only save your avocado even for the next day if you have to 
and otherwise also it will add a zing to your tacos to this mix add half a spoon of salt and the same amount of paprika powder and then again give it all a mix you can hear the sizzles of the potatoes once you've made the guacamole it's a life saver you can use this as a dip or as a dressing or as a filling for your sandwiches so just keep this covered with a cling film um, in your fridge make sure you've drizzled lime juice on it or lemon juice on it and it can stay like this in the fridge for at least 3 to 4 days so keep using it um, as and when you want you can see that our potatoes have got softened and they've also got a nice color on them just add the clove of garlic that we had finely chopped earlier make sure you don't burn the garlic you could also add some chilies if you feel like at this stage and then just turn the heat off we just want the garlic flavor in the potatoes you need to heat your taco shells before you start filling them You must ensure that you read the packaging details of the taco shell packet because they'll have the time limit uh, for heating these shells mentioned on it. Take the taco shell and then uh, just add the potatoes, some of them, some of the baked beans, some of the. lattes then a good spoonful of our guacamole and finally add some cheese on this you could also add some cheese sauce or just skip this and now just if the cheese doesn't melt because the uh, the shell would have cooled down a bit You could heat this again for a minute or so and you will be able to have um, a taco with melted cheese. So that's what it will look like. This is my taco with the guacamole. It looks so tempting. I can't wait to taste it. Cooking for me is about using simple ingredients and simple methods and I would encourage you to do the same. This is one meal that you can make at any time of the day. to satisfy your appetite if you've liked watching this video do give me a thumbs up share this video with at least 5 friends of yours to spread the joy of gardening and cooking with fresh ingredients when you dance do you dance like there is no one there when you sing Do you sing it out like you don't care? Don't you know that you don't have to be anything but what you